the Rocks. The reason that we are the Rocks is because God built his church on a rock. Yeah. So we're going to have him read Matthew 16. Now I say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. So as you can see, we've got a rock, and we've also got a tree. Oh, that's that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It's all good. We got, we got it. it. Judges got it. Got it. <laughs> Try not to block it. But, um, we have the tree, but also for us being a rock, God is also a rock. Hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, yeah. Nice. One, two, two. This one. You got this. Whoop, whoop. Woo! There's no one besides you. There's no rock like a God. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Just wait. Psalms 18, 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. My shield and to... And the hand of my, or part of my salvation, my stronghold. I can't remember. All right. But what God is also about, we grow out of God. So we've got all the team colors. Green, blue, Aww. unity, orange, and of course we're the rocks. So I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got our pretty outline of the rock. And that's about it. United. We are the Skyberry Squad. Adam. Jacob. Chris. Julia. Dave. Quifa. Aaron. We are in the sky with our Father being renewed, and our goal is to spread that renewal to everyone. So, us, we represent the blueberries, and Jesus, He's the Sun. We just want to spread all of Jesus' renewing light around Winter Retreat. And we want to be refreshing and share God's word. <laughs> Second Corinthians five seventeen. Super fruit. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Woo! All of these blobs on the flag are berries. Uh, there's one for each of us on the team, and the sunlight behind the clouds is God's light shining on us. The cross represents the sacrifice that Jesus made for us so that we can be renewed. This is the most important part of our flag, the cross. Without Christ's death on the cross, we could not be renewed. This weekend, we just want to share God's love with everybody and have a great time. As a blue team. Tigers are a very complex creature, and of course, when you think complex, you think uh, create, uh, there's a creator, and everyone you think about. Oh! Oh! And, uh, oh. we have uh, black stripes, uh, oh. the tiger stripes. We have uh, the blood of Christ uh, for other stripes, and we also have uh, palm prints. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Psalms 51, 10, it says, create in, me, uh, create in me a clean heart. Oh, God, renew a loyal spirit within me. Okay, so describing what that means to us is um, it renews us and God sanctifies us. And like in Romans, it, he talks about renewing our mind. But here he talks about renewing our hearts. And with that, we'll always have a loyal spirit to God and always grow with our walk with him. Woo! Um, the reason why we have red on the flag is because it represents the blood of Christ. And we... We we are healed by his stripes. So. And the reason why we have the paw prints is, as you can see, it starts from the bottom down here, and then it grows up. So the reason why we did that was because what we're trying to say is we grow on our walk with Christ. As we grow, we learn more about him and get to know him. And we just wanted to close with a small prayer, so please bow your heads. Oh, Dear Heavenly Father, we just uh, thank you for this awesome retreat. Thank you for so many great flags. And uh, we just pray that we can have a fun time this weekend and ultimately that we can just draw close to you, learn more about you, and maybe those who don't know you will come to know you this weekend, God. So please be with us and love on us this weekend. In the name of prayer. Amen. Amen. <laughs> The grapes on the vine? The, the green grapes on the vine. The, the, ones, the purple one from last year. <laughs> and it's a very complexly created grapevine, as you can see. And as we know from 2 Corinthians 5 17, all things are made new. So we are grapes on the vine! Yes! yes. 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 All right, guys. This, uh, this bit of dirt down That's here with these, uh, Hold it up. cool vines growing out of it. It's kind of a, it's a tip of the hat to uh, the parable in the New Testament where God's talking about the farmer sowing the seeds and it just represents the, um, the people who had an open heart and they let the word grow in them. Um, <laughs> we didn't draw the other people. <laughs> I love it. Well, um, the dirt and soil right here represents the foundation of us with each and every one of our handprints as you can see down here. And it's like a base or root of us. As you can see, the grapes up here are represent the believers that are fruitful to God and already developed their faith. <laughs> the new vines are the new believers growing to bear fruit for the cross. <laughs> The renewal is because um, <laughs> everyone is, we have a new team and everything is new and just new people growing in Christ. Alright. Psalm 51 10. Create a clean heart, oh God. Renew within me a loyal spirit. Whoa, 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 hold up. This is just cliche. Everyone has the first, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try Psalms 23.3. Yeah. He renews my strength. He guides me along right path, bringing honor to his name. Can I get an amen? Yeah. 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 Oh, Lordy, look. Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. <laughs>